Hey guys, welcome back to another action figure review. Today we're checking out another Mortal Kombat 11 spawn, this version being based on the end game McFarlane classic skin with blood effects. On the back of the package we have a picture of the figure, and on the side we have a close up of the figure. McFarlane figures are easy to remove from the box without having to tear it open. But in order to get the standout, you will have to tear open the plastic holding it. Spawn was once a human named Al Simmons, one of the government's greatest soldier and assassin. He was brutally murdered by his own squad and sent to hell. He would make a deal with the demon lord to return to life, but as a hell spawn, making him a target of both heaven and hell. Spawn now finds himself in the world of Mortal Kombat, knowing that only he needs to fight to survive. This version of Spawn is based off of the in-game look of the Mortal Kombat 11 video game, using the McFarlane Classic skin color with included bloody details. As for the name McFarlane Classic, I couldn't find any information regarding this color for Spawn. It seems to be exclusive to Mortal Kombat 11. Let's check out the details. Spawn has his classic glowing green eyes, surrounded by dark eyeshadow to make them stand out even more. His mask is divided into two parts, the sharp white edges and the skin tight black suit underneath. We can see the wrinkles in the skin more heavily applied in the areas like the mouth, nose and forehead. A small bronze chain with skulls ties the cape into place and if you look closely you can see small dots of blood all over the face. On the side we can see the yellow collar of the cape. Textured in a fine cracked leather effect, the collar is sculpted with folds and has edges that point upward. We have a large splattered blood stain on the chest, pulling towards the center with smaller drops all around. Underneath we can see the skin tight black suit over the muscles, showing off a lot of the muscle fibers with the classic white V shape over it. The cape completely covers the back, with large wrinkles and folds in the torn yellow leather layered over each other in sections. The cape reaches all the way to the floor, ending in torn ribbed straps of that roughly textured leather. Underneath the cape we can see the back, with more large muscle fibers and where the white stripes on the suit end up. The shoulder has bulging muscles, with the black suit showing more of those muscle fibers. A large yellow band is wrapped around the shoulder with large silver spikes on it. On the left arm we have a large gauntlet on the wrist with more silver spikes. The area is bloodied with more splashes of blood all over the arm. The hands here are completely blood soaked with the spiked knuckles covered in blood. On the right we have a larger piece of yellow armor covering the hands with more spikes. The blood is more heavily applied toward the edges with more small splatters around the arm. On the waist we have two large bronze chains meeting at the center of a skull shaped buckle. A small rust effect can be seen between the links with more blood splattered on the chain and body underneath. On the back side we see the chain repeats its design here but much cleaner without the blood. The black suit tightly wraps around the thighs showing the muscle tone where the military style pouches are tied to the leg. A large blood stain covers a few of the pouches along with the knee. The leg on this side is heavily armored with large sections of yellow armor with spikes and a few dots of blood sprinkled around the boot. We wrap up the detail with the feet. A yellow spike strap wraps around the foot, with the undersuit tightly wrapped to the point where we can see small details like the toes. Let's look at the articulation. We have a ball jointed head, shoulders that open and rotate with the cape blocking just a bit, rotating forearms, double jointed elbows with gauntlets preventing super tight bends, wrists that bend up and down and rotate, a ball jointed chest, and another at the waist. Legs that open and bend forward and back, very little thigh rotation, double jointed knees, ankles that bend up and down, the rotation is blocked by the boot on this foot, with the toe that bends up. While there have been a lot of recolors of this version of Spawn, both of these Spawn figures are based on the same armored Spawn version with the big boot. I have him standing next to the Deluxe Throne Spawn so you can see the differences between them, noticeably the lack of cape, chest and belt design, and muscle fibers in the suit sculpt. We get a bloody Spawn styled axe, themed like Spawn suit, one side is completely soaked in blood. And we get the McFarlane style stand with the Mortal Kombat logo on it. Many versions of Spawn are out there, but McFarlane does a good job giving each a unique look that lets them stand apart from each other and gives Collector a reason to pick them up. 
The bloody look of McFarlane Classic skin was done extremely well. The effects look realistic and have a nice clear look and shine to them. The yellow color theme of the cape and armor seem to be exclusive to the Mortal Kombat game, as these colors I have not seen in the comics, so both fans of Spawn or Mortal Kombat can enjoy this unique version of Spawn. For the accessories we get a bloody version of Spawn's axe, also detailed with that amazing bloody effect. We have enough range in the arms to get some great attacking poses with the axe. The joints feel really sturdy and thick, sculpted with all the joints we have come to expect out of a McFarlane release. While the cape armor is soft and will bend out of the way, I would have loved for it to be detachable, if only for more unique posing. The McFarlane Classic Spawn figure is some of McFarlane's finest work, at an amazing price point showcasing McFarlane's great sculpting, painting, and articulation all wrapped into one figure. While the classic red version is long sold out or being sold at high prices at secondhand stores, this version offers the same greatness of the original with a unique color and blood effect. And I think that's where this figure shines the most. It's a great entry point into the spawn action figures, it's available at a great price and has everything that makes an iconic spawn. Definitely a figure you should check out if you don't already have the classic red version or want a bloody version to match the rest of the bloody releases. Alright guys, that's it for this review. More reviews are coming up soon, so check out my other reviews or leave a comment while you wait.